Hello everyone and welcome to the One Man Running Game Production YouTube channel. I'm your host, Fiona Brig. B and is Monday. And there's no blaster box in front of me, so it is time for Mail Time Monday. Now, if you did miss Blast Off Monday earlier on today, go check that out. Uh, but if you missed any of the previous Mail Time Mondays, head up there, check them out while you're at it, head and done. Hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, the thumbs up, like the video, hit that share button, share this with everyone you know. Head over in the comments to tell me what your favorite thing is. I open up today uh, the packages or what you're looking forward to me most opening up in a future video down the line. Um, or maybe I already did, I don't know. But either way, um, we got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight packages to open up today for you. So it's gonna probably be a bit of a long one, uh, but no problem there, we'll get it done. Uh, and then check out the links in the description for my blog, for my blog, podcast, other social media, as well as my eBay, where I may or may not have anything up for sale right now. Go check it out anyways. If I do, make some offers and buy some stuff. If I don't, come back later, or save me as a seller and come back later on when I do have some stuff up and make some offers and buy some stuff then. All right, uh, let's get into it. Um, we'll open up this first package. It is from Dave and Adam's Card World. So it's clearly cards, right? Uh, and I just realized I forgot to bring over the trash can, which I always forget to do. I always forget the trash can. Remembered the box cutter this time, uh, but forgot the trash can, which I may not need. I may actually not need. But what do we got? Um, all right, we got, all right, so on the top here, we got a Rookie Moments Alex, Alexis Lafaniere. Is Alexis, Lexis, Lexis? I, I would... I was confused how to say his first name, but Lafaniere, I know, is his last name. Uh, rookie's Moment. Rookie Moments. Uh, not sure what this is actually from. Oh, Na National Hockey Card Day. So, yeah, it was an extra bonus that they threw in. Figured might as well get one of his rookie cards. I know it's not probably the most desirable one, but hey, uh, wh why not? And then 2021 Tops Archive Hobby Box, which I completely forgot I even ordered, but... Um, I always like to open up a hot box of um, archives if I can get it, my hands on it. Uh, this is uh, 2021. You get two cards, two autographs, two on-card autographs is what I'm trying to say per box. 24 packs, eight packs per box. We will open this up at some point on down the line. And then this is what I was really uh, purchasing, I think. I think those other things were just kind of like, eh. And I don't know, we remember when I pre-ordered this, because obviously Upper Deck Hockey got kept getting delayed and delayed and delayed and delayed. Um, uh, but this is Series 2. I mean, obviously when this video goes up, this I've had this for a while. Uh, but uh, yeah, eventually, sometime down the line, we'll eventually get to 2021 on the channel. This is Hockey Series 2 to go along with Series 1. There's all the odds on stuff. 24 packs per box, 8 packs per box, or 8 cards per pack. Actually very similar to Topps Archive. But... Um, you don't actually get any autographs. You're not guaranteed any autographs, let me say. I don't think you're guaranteed any hits in these hobby boxes. Uh, but you are guaranteed, um, what is it? Six Young Guns in every box. And... Um, I think you get four canvas cards, maybe. I forget what it is. Um, but uh, you can probably figure it out by the odds. Um, canvas cards, one in six. So that'd be four, right? I can do math. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, we'll open up that like years from now, I guess. Um, we'll see. And then a little advertisement. You could win um, Adam Driver autograph Star Wars The Force Awakens Ad Adaption number five comic book CGC 9.8. So that's probably already happened. Yeah. <laughs> um, drawing was held on Tuesday, July 19th. I'm, I'm recording that before this. But uh, I'm recording this before that, words. Um, but um, yeah, so. And then uh, Luka Doncic and Jason Dominguez stuff as well. But like I said, by the time this video goes up, um, that will already have happened. All right, uh, moving on. We got uh, a package from tops.com. Uh, I believe this is going to be another card of the month. Uh, Which, honestly, by the time this video comes out, this video probably will already be up of whatever this um, whatever this card of the month ends up being. Um, should I think this is... 
I want to say this is probably the May card of the month. Um, not, yeah, it must be the May one. That would that would make sense. Um, which again, if you're, yeah, you can probably go check it out on a Tops.com Tuesday video that already is already up, probably most likely. So go check it out if you want to see what's inside this. I don't know. It's a card of the month, I'm assuming. Uh, I, don't, I didn't order anything else, so it must be. Uh, and probably for May. So, uh, yeah. There we go. All right, next up. Uh, let's go to this box. This is from walmart.com slash jet.com. So it is probably cards of some sort, I would imagine. But we'll find out in a moment. It is, yes, yeah, some cards. We got a couple hanger boxes of 2022 Tops Heritage. And then we got a, a blaster box of 2022 Leap Draft Football with two autograph cards plus a 10 card set per box. So, yeah, we'll see if we can pull any of the uh, big draft picks out of from 2022 out of this box at some point down the line on a blast off Monday. So look forward to that. And then these will be uh, down the line. We'll open these up, these hanger boxes on a hanger over Saturday. So look forward to opening those up sometime down the line. Um, probably hasn't happened yet, but possibly already did. Uh, probably not, but maybe. Uh, but I'll just go search my videos and see if it has. Um, I don't think it would have. Just saying, I don't think it has. Well, I don't know, maybe. Who knows? Uh, but go watch all the videos, is my point. Go watch all my videos, is my point. All right, next up, we got this box, uh, also from Walmart slash jet.com, which got a little crunched. So hopefully everything in it is okay. Uh, yeah, I don't, don't like that so much, uh, but hopefully the contents inside are fine. Um, even though the box may have gotten crunched. Ooh. Yeah, no. These boxes are a little banged up. That's not good. Come on, Walmart. You're better than that. Hopefully the packs inside are okay, but we got a couple of blaster boxes of 2021-22 Parkhurst hockey. Um, so hopefully they're okay. Packs are okay. We did see that Oh, I opened up a box not too long ago with Bowman that, um, now I don't know when it got damaged, uh, but it was a blaster box, uh, Bowman, and I don't know if it got damaged from when it got sent to me, I can't remember, or if it was just something fell on it in, in my, uh, in my inventory, I don't know, I don't think so, I was, the, the box that it was in looked fine, but that wasn't the same box it came in, so I'm thinking they got banged up in shipping, uh, and there was some damage to some of the cards, unfortunately, but, um, so hopefully these are okay. They don't look, this one doesn't look too bad. This one, a little bit more so, but uh, we will open these up on a blast off Monday, some point down the line. But yeah, we get, uh, you get 10 cards per pack, 12 packs per box, looking for prominent prospect cards, uh, and potential autographs as well. So look forward to open up those on blast off Monday at some point. All right, moving on, we got, uh, let's see, what's this? This is a, from Steel City Collectibles. So, you know, I, like, I shop around. I go to all the websites, but, you know, uh, sometimes Steel City has the best prices. Sometimes Dave and Adam, sometimes Blowout. Sometimes there's other random websites that do. Uh, sometimes eBay. So, you know, just gotta shop around sometimes and see what you can find. Uh, try to get the best deals on stuff, but uh, let's see. Oh, sweet. Um, packing peanuts. Forgot, forgot they like to do their packing peanuts. Uh, but this is going to be Series 2. 2021 Top Series 2. Uh, that's a jumbo box. And... Following up the jumbo box, we also have... A 
hobby box, a regular hobby box. So a regular hobby and a jumbo. Um, now the regular hobby box, we will be opening up multiple, multiple, multiple years from now, probably as we continue the journey. Um, currently I'm in what, 2006, I think, or whatever, whatever I'm in as you're watching this, I don't know. Uh, go check out my other videos. So, uh, so by the time we get to 2022, it's going to be a little bit. This one may be opening up a little bit more, in a little bit more, a, so, a little sooner, I guess is what I'm trying to say. As, um, yeah, I like to do some jumbos when I got to fill in for when I don't have any basketball. So Thursday is coming up in a little bit. We'll probably do series one, series two, and update jumbos as i've done the previous couple years so look forward to doing that you get two autographs or you get one autograph and two relics and a jumbo you get one autograph or relic in a hobby box and you get one silver pack in a hobby box two in a jumbo and you also get a box topper which i believe for series two is a oversized uh 1987 all-star design card which i don't know if there's you can get, I don't know if there's autographed versions of those or anything like that. Or, oh, there must, yeah, there is. Uh, let's see. Uh, approximate odds per box of finding sequentially numbered oversized 1987 All-Star Tops All-Star Parallels. There's gold, red, platinum, and autographs. So you can get autographs on those. I don't think I've seen anyone that's opened to get one yet, but I could be, I could be wrong. But anyways, there we go. Uh, we'll open these up. Um... Well, the jumbo will open up uh, in the not too distant future. The hobby box will be opened up in the distant future. <laughs> As I just threw that on the ground and all the peanuts came flying out. Now I have a huge mess on my hands. All right, well, whatever. That's fine. Let's move on. Uh, we got a. Uh, let's see. Let's go. Oops. I almost knocked the camera over. Now let's do this box here. We got a box from BigAppleCollectibles.com. Now, if you watched some of my previous videos and some of the previous videos where I've gotten boxes from BigAppleCollectibles.com, I haven't had the greatest um, things to say about them because I haven't had the best luck with them. Uh, a lot of the items I pre-ordered from them have taken forever to get to me. Uh, this one actually, I don't think is as bad. I think this one has only been, I've only been waiting this, for this one for like maybe seven or eight months, not like a year and a half or two years, which I think some, I think there's still ones that I haven't gotten that are like getting close to two years now, I think for some, for a couple of them. Um, but the other problem is with them is a lot of times they'll just won't send they they'll just be like all right we're never getting this pop and just send you your order without the without the pop and they don't tell you and then you have to like email them be like hey i didn't get this a part of my order eventually they do refund you but it, they make you do the work instead of like doing it on your own um so well we'll look at that in a minute but i didn't see anything crossed out so that's a good sign but is it the whole order? Yeah, let's see. I don't know. Um, if I can get this out of here. Come on. They double box it. So, I mean, their shipping's nice. They do good shipping. Double boxing stuff. And the boxes are pretty, you know, they're definitely better. There's some bubble wrap in there, too. They're definitely, and then they use reuse the uh, Funko Pop boxes, which actually, I do like these boxes. Uh, although they open this one up upside down. And this one's originally a Hamilton James Madison. That is not what I ordered. Uh, but let's see if I got what I ordered. All right, so... We got six pops in here. The only thing I don't like about these boxes is they're a little tight. Uh, we got Paladin Butters. We got the Grand Wizard Cartman. Got the high elf king, high elf king Kyle, and then we got the ranger Stan Marsh Walker. Um, so I don't. These are I don't know when these came out. Not too long ago. I know there's a way to find out when they. So that'd be October twenty one. Is that how? Is that how you're supposed to read that date on there? Um. So obviously, you know, the weird thing about these, though, is they're... 
what are these? I forget exactly what they're supposed to depict. Are these the characters from the video game, maybe? But they were also, like, when they did, like, the... What was it? Um, um, was it the episodes, like, the, the, the Black Friday episodes when they were trying to, like, war against each other? Or was that... Or was... Um, or is this one... Are these the ones from when they were returning the video game... Or, sorry, returning the Lord of the Rings to... No, because Butters... I don't know what these are from, to be quite honest. I've watched all pretty much all the South Park episodes ever, and I'm a little confused as to what these were actually supposed to be depicting. Um, like, I know he was a wizard at one point, but was that the video game, I think? I don't know. Um... Or was that one, the episode, or was he both? I, I, I don't remember now. Uh, I'm going to have to look it up, uh, but give me a second. Uh, but anyways, we'll keep going here real quick. Uh, we also got <laughs> the Xavier Woods Up, Up, Down, Down, which was a Target exclusive. Honestly, they were sitting on Target's website for whatever. Um, but I remember when they initially went up, they sold out real quick, and I was like, oh no, I missed it, so I went over to this and got them uh got one uh it is a special edition sticker as opposed to the target sticker but then of course target re you know they restocked and they were on there forever I, they might be able to still get them on target.com for all i know uh but also another little trick and i think i mentioned this in the last video the last uh, mail time monday video um and then we also got the triple h uh games club exclusives actually it is the game stop exclusive usually you get the to get the special editions from um um from big 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 apple collectibles so that's interesting uh but i do actually already have this um because i because again it was one of those things where went on to gamestop.com it was up there it was sold out but then like waited a day and then it was back up on the website also if you don't mind waiting a little bit eventually a lot of these exclusive exclusive pops for, from other stores end up on the WD shop website um this one i know was on there forever as well might still be actually this one was up there for a bit i don't know if it still is or not um but um you know if you miss out on the ones on the i don't know this one this one might be still on gamestop actually for all i know uh but if you miss out on any of those ones that are exclusive to certain websites or you know stores or whatever you know just check www.shop.com and a lot of times they do end up um, on there, so just a little bit of advice if you're a WWE uh, Funko Pop collector. And now I'm trying to figure out. Yeah, all right. So these are so these South Park pops are from the video game. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, they're from the the Stick of Truth video game. All right, that makes sense. Because I'm like, I know some of those characters are kind of like part of one of, like those episodes. But, like, not always, but, like, I think they're also kind of part of, like, that Game of Thrones, um, thing, but, I don't know, whatever. Either way, whatever, more fun co-pops. But I know there was, like, a Princess Kenny one that I, that was, like, from the, from the, um, um, from the set before this set that I ordered on big Apple collectibles that I still haven't gotten. And I think that like the whole previous set of South Park Pops I ordered from them, still haven't gotten those. So yeah, I don't know where those are, but these ones came. So I'm a little, little peeved at that, I guess. I'm not, not quite happy, not quite happy about their service, but hey, whatever it is, what it is. I probably will never order from them from again, from them again uh, going forward. But at the same time, I have like four more orders I haven't gotten from them, so uh, whatever. But all right, we got a couple more packages to go. I know this video is already super long, but hey, a lot of packages. All right, we got uh, uh, this Target.com. This box got a little crunch, too. Um, so let's see. Let's hope, hopefully, the, um, the contents aren't crushed. Like the Walmart box was. And I don't know if that was Walmart's fault. I don't know if that was UPS or whoever actually sent that. Or uh, FedEx or USPS or whatever. But we got some mega boxes. Bowman mega boxes. 
2022 Bowman Mega Boxes. They all look in decent shape, so that's good. Um, so of course, the big draw of the Mega, the Bowman Mega Boxes are the Mojo, or the whatever they call the Mojo refractors or Mega Box refractors or whatever you want to call them um, that are exclusive to this. Uh, so you get what is it? Four 10 card packs of 2021 Bowman Baseball, which are all just like the base. You, I mean, you get, get chrome, but all but there's no way to get color. There's no odds of getting, there's no chance of getting color. They're just the base cards. And then you get the Mojo packs or the Mega packs or Me Mojo Refractor or Mega Box Refractor, wh whatever they're actually called. I don't know. Um, and that's where all the good stuff is. Uh, you can get autographs and also all the um, inserts and parallels and stuff so we will definitely be opening up these on a on free for all fridays coming at some point down the line so stay tuned for those uh check back on free for all fridays uh as always all right and we have our one final one last and final package from walmart um so this one actually is a continuation of Another package that I got a while... I want to say it was... Was it last year? Now I can't remember because I don't think... I think I don't think I'd started doing Mail Time Monday when I got those. But I can't remember now. <laughs> but um, I don't know if I'm opening this up right. Probably not. There we go. There we go. But uh, so Walmart... Uh, put out these exclusive Metallica uh, vinyl records. And the initial wave had... Uh, the initial wave of records had Kill 'Em All. Um, Kill 'Em All, Ride Lightning, uh, Master of Puppets, and Justice for All, the Black Album, and then uh, 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 the newer album... Um, What's the name of the new album? Uh, self Destruct, Howard White or Self Destruct. Uh, but I was like, well, what about the other ones? So they put out, so they finally, uh, this year, or more recently, uh, put out the other ones, or most of the other ones. So you got Load, you got Reload, you also got Garage Inc., which was an interesting, interesting one, Garage Inc., and then you got Sane Anger. And of course, Death Magnetic rounding out the group. So the only ones that they haven't done, interestingly enough, um, well, they haven't done the EP, the four four ninety five or nine ninety eight or whatever version of it they would want to do. Uh, e EP Garage Days re 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 imagined or what, whatever <laughs> whatever the official name of that EP was that came out. Um, uh, right before and justice for all um, I do have a version of it but it's not like an exclusive the exclusive Walmart version they haven't done that they also haven't done SNM or SNM 2 I don't know if they are going to and of course there's the box set the live box set which I don't think they won't they won't do that but um, as far as all the studio albums go we're good um, I mean even garage I mean, that's why garage inks a little interesting that they did draw jink but you know but, but you know as far as i'm concerned um uh i do have them all except for the snm and obviously the the uh live box set but um yeah so but um, as far as the walmart exclusive ones you know i have all the walmart exclusive ones but they haven't done um the 598 ep or the snms uh which i don't know if they'll will they probably won't but regardless i got all the other ones and now got these ones. So, cool stuff. Um, I know this was a longer video. I had a lot of packages to open. So, thank you for watching. Uh, come back next week for another Mail Time Monday. Come back uh, every day for more videos. Uh, as I post videos every day. Um, so, just all you, all you gotta do is hit that subscribe button, the notification bell. Then you'll get a little notification every time a video is up and ready to watch. Come over and watch it, like and share, comment, and all that fun stuff. Keyword, there's fun. Just having fun here on the channel. Opening up packages. Talking, uh, open up cards, talking sports, talking music, talking whatever. 
Um, so thank you everyone for watching. Stay safe, have fun, talk to you next time. Bye.